Hey, I'm John, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to change the filament sensor on the longer LK5 Pro 3D printer. It's a simple process, and it should work for most FDM 3D printers, but your mileage may vary, so watch the video and look at your machine before you try these steps if you don't have the longer LK5 Pro. Alright, let's get started. I realized it was time to change out my filament sensor when I started getting the no filament error no matter what I did. So the first step you're going to do is stop printing whatever you're printing. Hopefully it's not like 20 hours into a 40 hour print. Then you want to go ahead and unload your filament. Then you want to remove your filament sensor mount. Now mine looks a little different than the one that comes out of the box because I upgraded my feeder to the aluminum extruder and I'll include a link in the description to the video where I show you how to do that. While you watch a riveting time lapse of me removing my filament sensor, now's a great time if you're enjoying my videos to show your support by liking this video, leaving a comment, telling me what you'd like to see me do next and hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell for notifications. So here I've got the old filament sensor still on the base and the new replacement filament sensor. The longer LK5 Pro comes with a extra filament sensor in the spare parts bag, but I'll leave a link in the description below if you need to buy a new one. So all we're gonna do is remove the old filament sensor from the base and then we're going to put the new filament sensor on that exact same base. The allen wrench that you need to do everything should have came with the printer as well. There's a little plastic piece under where the wires connect to the filament sensor that compresses in and that's how it senses the filament. And I think sometimes it just wears down or it gets stuck and that's what causes the problem with the filament sensor. Now it's time to just screw in the new filament sensor into the base. Then reattach the filament sensor to the extruder or the printer, depending on what type of extruder you have, and plug it back in. Then reattach your filament guide if you're using one. If you're not, I highly recommend that you do use one. The printer came with it, but if you're missing it, I'll include a file, a 3D printable file in the description below so that you can download it and reprint it then load your filament back in. Happy printing! If you found this video helpful and you want to show your support, you can do so by liking the video, throwing a comment below about what you'd like to see next, and of course subscribing and turning on notifications. Until next time.